Okay, hi guys, we're back for another game. Southampton away, their second, they've only lost one game, they've won five. It's going to be a tough match. But hopefully, pick up another three points. Promotion is looking a possibility at this stage of the season. A bit early, six games. Uh, but looking, especially the West Ham result and the Middlesbrough result, I think it's definitely possible. Bonucci is going to be playing instead of Angala. Uh, off screen, Ashton said he wanted to play more. So by the looks of things, he'll probably be leaving in January, which would be a shame to see him go, but... What can you do? He's good, but he's not as good as he used to be. <coughs> I also realised that Fadacitis is now one of my best strikers. He's rated 60. So expect to see a bit more of him. Uh, although Haber and Dante are both obviously excellent strikers, so he won't get as much game time as perhaps he should, especially with uh, playing with only one striker. But yeah, we'll definitely play a little bit, uh, depending, I guess, who I get in the J in the FA Cup. Be a big, oh, apologies, second, sorting out my PC. Uh, okay, there we go. Just getting an annoying this pop at the bottom, so all fixed now. <coughs> this is going to be a tough game. Obviously, Southampton have come down from the Premier League. Go on, Heber. Oh. Good start could be crucial. No support. <coughs> Just got back from the Scunthorpe game today. A load of shit, but we still won, so... Not complaining. A win's a win. Still second in the table now. Uh, two points clear of the team in third. Which is good. Greg Tanzi. With a superb free kick. The last time we scored from a free, uh, directly from a free kick was in December 20... December 2010 uh, when Josh Walker on loan from uh, from Watford he only played twice in that spell but he scored a direct free kick in off the post against Wimbledon away in the FA Cup second round and today he was playing for Scunthorpe so... <coughs> and well, I've, he committed a foul in the box. Well, I thought it was a foul, but the referee didn't. So all in all, great start to the season, especially as we well we haven't been, we haven't played that well in any games. So to be second when you're not playing well, sign of champions, surely. <coughs> Although Tranmere is still going strong at the top, and it was very tough to get past them. Especially if they keep winning. I'll get if it carries on as it is, our games against them will be absolutely crucial. <coughs> Grey, well done. Oh no, <coughs> that was close. The problem in real life is that we've been getting attendances. Today was a high attendance by our standards, just under 3,000, which is appalling. And if we go up and that doesn't increase much, we'll just get relegated, as simple as that. Even if we do go up, there's going to be no money to spend. Unless the chairman puts his hand in his pocket, which I don't see why he should. Very disappointing to be only getting oh, to be only getting an average of about two and a half thousand when you've got <coughs> a town of eighty thousand people. The club's gone up twice in the last three years, twice in the uh, twice in the last two years. Got in the playoffs last year. A couple of excellent FA Cup runs. 
which of course everybody turns up for. We took about, I think it was 4,000 fans to Tottenham. And then they all piss off when for these n normal games. <coughs> Muppets. So in this three mode, Basamali, he's not really impressed me. Mm -mm. He's my right midfielder. <coughs> he's gone up two rating points since he joined me. But right midfielder is still a problem area. Not quite sure what to do about that, really. Lukey scored three goals already this season. I think this is he for now, not, not real life. But at the same time, he's obviously not as effective. Right backs in the championship are better. Although I'd be disappointed if he didn't get about 15, 20 goals this season. Ah, poor. <coughs> Personally, I'll take a draw from this game. But a win would be excellent. Managed to beat West Ham away, so... This is my chance to beat another of the relegated teams. Posted earlier, I've updated the OP a bit, uh, a little bit. Yeah, <coughs> added the season to the title. That's quite a simple change. I rewrote the end of the history uh, in the OP uh, to cover last season as well. Updated the honours to include League One champions. Unlucky, great, no, Bonucci, well played. <coughs> I also, I've also updated the squad to the post-transfer window one. Uh, the only players I'm planning on, s on selling in January are Arnold. I've got two top quality keepers now, Bassam and two quality young keepers as well, Bassam and Catalani. Catalani is only 17 and he's already rated 58. Bassam is now 66 or 65 I believe. And he's 23 or 22, I can't remember. But yeah, not in need of any keepers. Oh, well, that was in. Not in need of any keepers. Patrick Hadjimang I also like to sell. Uh, he's now 32, he's rated 59, he's lost whatever pace he had. Uh, yeah, I've got better, much better options than him. No reason to keep him. No reason to keep him. And another striker, Danny Lopez. He was slow to start with, he's 27, rated 58. He only made four appearances for me last season. Can't see him getting in the team at all this season now with Dante. So hopefully I'll be able to get rid of him as well. And now, unfortunately, John Ashton, I'm looking to sell. If he wants first team football, he's going to get it. He's done more than enough for the club. That's right, I'm bringing real life back into this again. Oh, shit. Could do without an injury. No, that's not good. That's not good. Let's get Shruti on there. 